Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel, spending some time with me today. Always thankful for that. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about fishing frogs during the month of May. Um, in my opinion, May and June is probably the best two months of the year to fish frogs. So we're gonna get into that today on specifically what you need to look for to catch some good frog fish. Um, thing about frogs, guys, they've been around forever, man. I remember back when I very first started fishing, back when I was a little kid in the 70s, I remember reading fishing magazines and they'd have uh, ads in there about frogs. And they, the ones back in the 70s looked exactly like a frog. They were, they looked just like a plastic frog. And most of the time they were designed to be fished like over the top of lily pads, like where frogs get. And they've been catching fish forever, but forever. But it's only been the past 10 years or so, there's been an increase in the frog technology, like this mega bass, big gabbit frog here. Um, also guys, I'll, this is my favorite frog. I'll link it in the description of the video if you guys would like to try it out. It's Mega Bass Big Gabbit. But there's been a lot of improvements in here. Now, the, the main improvements have been in the color patterns and the hooks here. You've got some really good big sharp hooks that lay you know, flush against the frog. Got some really good colors. But the main thing is the design of the frog that allows it to work side to side like this. This has been the big revolution in frog fishing. Before, frogs just like went straight through the water. They didn't have much action with them. Therefore, they were made to be fish over type of objects. But ever since the walking frog, like the big gabbit came about, you can fish it like you would a normal top water, like a zero spook or something. So not only you can reel it across matted vegetation and just scoot it like that, but you can also work it in more open water and you know draw the strike from the side to side action. Um, there's a lot of different tips I can give you guys like on frog colors and that type of deal that we're, we're gonna save that for a different video. But what I wanna talk specifically is where you wanna fish a frog during the month of May and sometimes into June because there's specific situations where frogs will outproduce any other lure in those scenarios. So first thing, obviously, you gotta have shallower water. You know, when you're fishing frogfish, you're fishing for bass that are in very shallow water, normally in less than three foot of water. So in, on top of that, when you're dealing with shallow water frog fishing, you gotta have shallow water, you've also gotta have some shade. Frogs are always better if you can fish them in the shade. That is the key thing about frog fishing. And the thing about frogs is like when you're dealing with the uh, shade, it's like, I'll take these frogs and I'll skip it up underneath any shade I can find, like the shade of a dock, underneath a dock, the shade of an overhanging tree, the shade coming off of a bank, you know, if the sunlight is at a different angle. Shade is the key in the month, in the month of May and June for catching fish on frogs. You're not gonna catch many fish on frogs in the sun unless you're over some type of thick cover, like matted vegetation pads. But my favorite area to fish a frog in is to skip it up in those hard to get to areas in the shade and work it like a spook back and forth. It'll, it's a subtle bait. It's like the, the frog is a real quiet bait. So therefore it's really good in that, in that calm, flat, shallow water. So obviously you need to be fishing, you know, wherever that type of water is in the lake. You know, coves are really good. Same type of places the fish have been spawning in. A lot of those places where the bass have been spawning in, the bluegills move into there to spawn after, and the fish will stay in there to feed on those bluegills, and that's why a frog is so good. But if I could give you one tip, guys, fish it on 40-pound test braid. I fish it on 40-pound test Seaguar Smackdown braid, a stiff seven-foot rod, uh, and you know, try to skip it in there and just sort of walk it slow in that shade. It's a really good way to catch big fish that will not bite anything else. A, a frog will catch fish shallow when nothing else can at certain times. Now, a lot of people fish top waters, they like a cloudy day for it. I prefer a sunny day for frog fishing simply because it throws the shade off there and I can specifically run and target shade. That's a big deal. Shade and frogs are a big deal. So anyway, guys, I'll put the link in the description if you guys wanna try some of these big gabbits. Good way to catch some big bass and hope it helps out. We'll see y'all.